All right, well, what is good, everybody? We got some more MX versus ATV Legends today. This time, we're gonna be checking out the new season two update, and a lot of things have changed. Uh, so to first start off here, the menu is completely revamped, and it looks so much more better. It looks so much clean. Did I just say more better? It looks way more clean. You know, here we got all the careers in order to see what you need to do, and I've done everything in MX, I believe. So, oh no, I got exposed. And then we got the ATVs. I still got to do a lot of this, but it does make it look so much more clean and so much easier to, to navigate because the first version of the game, it was just so weird and awkward and I, I could not stand it. You had to scroll like all the way through just to get to like certain parts of, of the career and it was just so annoying. Um, but yeah, obviously the exhibition, not too much has changed. Uh, I mean, well, it's changed, but it looks good. And then, yeah, so this is going to come out soon. I have to buy the track pass, but... And we got, you know, all this. I'm not really going to go through all these, but you guys know. You guys understand basically what they are. And then online looks way better. You know, squad compound. Way better. Looks so much better, man. The garage is well, way easier to navigate. I like this a lot. I do need to get some more of these vehicles, but... And then locker, so I think we got some new helmets as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is new. Um, I believe this is new. This is new as well. And then all these Thor helmets are new. Um, I'm not sure what else is new. I, I think that might be it. But here for the gear. Everything just looks so much better. Everything looks so... I don't know, even graphically, things seem improved. Um, but, oh, FXR kits. These are, these are pretty dope. This is ugly as shit, but it's dope. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. Oh, new new seven as well, I think. Maybe some extra. I think this is new too. I'm not not for sure. Yeah, this is new. Some of the stuff is new. I'm pretty sure all this is in the Supercross game though, so. Take what you will with that. Let me go ahead and put on this helmet. Some goggles. I know we got new goggles. I think they're all four though. Yep. Looks cool though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just wish there was a little more in the game. I wish there was more of an overload, but I guess they are limited to with what they can do. I think I'm going to put some white boots on. Do some Thor. Or no, Alpine. I like Alpine Star. I just like the way Alpine Star looks so much better than most boots. I don't know why. And so that's pretty much it for content. And I believe they have added, um, or they are working on adding the 2023 National Track Series um, as it's getting ready to fully release. Yeah, you can see down here they have the first round ready to go. So, um, yeah, excited for that. And then I'm going to be going ahead and jumping onto a random National Track here because I believe there has been some updates to the physics. So in terms of content, not the most has been added, but it is a pretty good start. I do know they're going to be adding some cool stuff here um, over the next few weeks, like um, full-on rainstorms and stuff like that. Like, the videos they were showing in the in the trailer was kind of sick, so I'm pretty excited for it. But yeah, this definitely feels different. The game feels better. I don't know how to explain it, but the game feels better. They've definitely changed the, the physics up for sure. I don't know if you can hear my little brother, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I think he's playing some game over there, too. But yeah, this feels so much better. I don't know what they did. It feels like they've grounded everything a little bit more. Which I like, because everything was way too floaty. You could, like, hit the smallest jump and just launch. Like, this actually feels so good, bro. Maybe they didn't even add anything. I'm just, I'm just tripping. And I do need to show off a new crash animation here. I'm going to try to... Just eat the dust here on a random, on a random jump here. Um, but yeah, it's basically just an animation where you kind of go feed off the pegs, and your guy just kind of just just dies pretty much. I'm gonna try to get the trigger here around the corner or something. It's kind of hard to like just intentionally crash. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> that is kind of funny looking, but. Yeah, that's the new crash animation. It is better, I guess, than just dying compared to the old ones. Like, you kind of just 
die and your body's just all weird. But yeah, I mean, they're working on the game. It does seem like there's some improvements coming to the physics all around, not just uh, here, small tweaks. So yeah, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I'm going to be doing more news on this game, more updates, more content in general. I'm going to be trying to do more online stuff here over the next few days. Um, I'm going to be trying to get hella online videos recorded out, especially with the 2023 tracks coming out over the next uh, couple weeks here. I think that'll be a lot of fun and trying to learn those tracks. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, I'll go ahead and see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.